Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are unboxing the new Moser HGP H Passion Shifter and it is a completely sealed box. So I don't know what it looks like inside, so this is as much a surprise to me as it is to you. But I'm looking forward to it. I know some of you guys have dropped comments about this and um, certainly it does interest me as well. So this has arrived. It took a little bit longer to uh, get here than expected. It got kind of delayed in transit. I wasn't down to Moser, and um, I wanted to do this unboxing last week, really, but it's only just arrived. So, uh, and I, I record these unboxings as soon as something arrives, since I kind of I want to know what it looks like, don't I? So, uh, yeah. So uh, it's still maybe a little bit damp actually because it's raining outside. Uh, let's take these little corner things off. They do like to protect their products, so I'll give them that. Moser are very good at keeping things nice and. Uh, tidy and well packed so a few more of those uh, those things and inside we have a very professional looking box there feels pretty weighty that's what it looks like guys and there's some details there cool let's get in uh, so first thing out of the box we do have Oh, that's kind of neat. They've got a, uh, a mounting uh, diagram, so you got you can see what the measurements are. Let me just see if I can uh, get it there for you, so it doesn't get washed out by the light. And some instructions. Uh, so you will need to download, or if you already have the Moser products, you'll use the Moser Payout software, since it does have um, uh, a nice feature in there, actually, in the software. Um, it has auto blip, so if you can't heal and tow, or you find it difficult to do, then you can just employ the auto blip feature, and when you downshift, it will just do it for you. Um, so this is, first thing is a big old aluminium chunky gear knob, that's kind of nice. Uh, cables, so we have a USB cable, and also, let me just show you, I'll take it out, USB cable. Standard stuff, printer style, and it does have also this other cable, which is a sort of RJ style cable. So this means it'll plug into um, the Moser, well, Moser wheelbase if it has an adapter port for it, which I don't think any of them do, but they do have like a little box interface you can use. So it'll plug into that, that's definitely a fact. So there's gonna be two uh, ports on the, on the shifter here, which I'll show you in a moment. So we've got some uh, screws, nuts, washers, and tools. So, yep, it's all good. Uh, and take this top off to reveal the shifter. Take it out of the box. First thing I will say, it does a, uh, it does resemble those AliExpress shifters in the size, um, and maybe we can have a look at that in a moment. But this is its own thing, so let's have a look at that. Uh, so aluminium, there you go. There's the sockets I told you about. So USB and one that says transit. Multiple holes in the bottom, so that's kind of useful. So what you can see, they have multiple drill pattern here, which is kind of cool. So I believe that one's probably the Thrustmaster TH-8A shifter bolt pattern. So that's a standard one, and not sure what that follows, but again, it'll follow some sort of standardized patterns, which is really useful, because it means if you have a pre-drilled uh, platform set on your sim rig, you know, for different shifters, because a lot of these come, you know, pre-drilled for stuff, then you can just basically plop it on there. Uh, we also have, obviously, that. Again, nice. So that'll go nicely onto a bit of 8020 or something like that. So you've got plenty of options there. That's good. You know, these things are really useful because it just takes away the hassle of uh, setting these things up. Now, let's get this gear knob on there because I want to do a bit of shifting and see what it feels like if I can get it on there. So uh, first thing is, yeah, it's a replaceable um, 
gear knob so you can put your own on there. That looks like M10 to me. And I do believe it does have a couple of interesting features here. Well, an interesting feature. Um, it does have a lockout. So, have a look at that. You can see we have reverse on this side. Normally, I would have normally wanted it on that side, but that's fine. And you can see it goes up to seventh gear. So, one through to seven plus reverse. So, eight positions. Now, I'm just going to go through that. Yeah, that feels nice. Let me just pop it through. Do you know what? I have to say, it does feel very much like those AliExpress ones I've reviewed. It has a similar sort of feel. I know it's not like that. If you go to the Moza website, they do like, um, you know, you don't have got pictures of the innards. So it's a different type of mechanism, much more sophisticated than that, than say the AliExpress ones. But it does, it does have that feel, a very nice positive snap. You can hear that. You, know, you can get the idea of the feel from that as it pops through. I'm just, uh, it's difficult to shift properly on a table when it's not mounted, but yeah. You just see the spring side to side, so yeah, very strong spring as well, centering it. Now for reverse and seven, they're both the same deal. Now, let me just, I think it's, it's probably down. So you can see there's a bit of a tension on that. So if I want to go to reverse, yeah, there you go. So you press down on the gear lever, otherwise I can't get into reverse. Let me just show you that again. I can't, it doesn't, it's locked out, plus seven is also locked out. Because generally speaking, how many cars are you going to drive with seven gears in uh, sim racing? Not too many. So it's done the same thing on both sides, so you don't accidentally go into reverse or seventh. And let me just show you seventh as well, it's locked out. But to get to seventh, I just push down and then it goes in. So that's very neat. Yeah, it's very tidy actually. It's, it's not a lot of. Uh... Mike, I do wonder actually. It's not particularly a lot of movement. It's not that strong. So I do wonder: is it possible that you could press it too hard? Uh, you know, when you're using the gear knob and go into that kind of reverse by accident? Maybe I don't know. I need to try it out. Pro probably okay. But yeah, it feels smooth. Um, you might hear a bit of background noise from my table hitting my radio, so ignore that. Let me just put this. That's the noise. Inside there, you can't see the actual uh, mechanism. There's like a, a gate, a gate to cover there. So you might be able to kind of get the, see a bit of that, the folds on there. So it's covered, there's a dust cover in there, so that protects it. Um, but I would probably say, this would be super easy to get in there and to have a look. So for my review, yeah, we'll definitely um, do a, uh, a, a a quick tear down and get inside and see how far we can get inside. Uh, very much at least take the lid off and have a look and, and see if we can see the mechanism. But uh, yeah, it feels nice. And as I said, it's not that dissimilar from those um, AliExpress ones. Probably a little bit smoother but very close. Now one moment, because I'm going to bring one in. There you go, if by magic, here is uh, my Project D shifter. This is one I've also reviewed. And yeah, it feels really similar. I'm getting annoyed by my radiator. I'm not sure if that's getting picked up on the microphone, that's better. But let's go to the motor one. Yeah, really similar. And this is a, such a great shifter. I reviewed this ages ago. Um, so you can just see the size comparison. Um, AliExpress one or AliExpress style one. This I got this one actually from Banggood, but it's the same sort of one that gets sold on AliExpress, same sort of size. Really, really similar in feel. I must admit, really, really similar. Uh, but yeah, but size-wise, it is a... Uh, it is a beefier, bigger model of shifter, but nice. Now something else is wobbling on the table. It never ends, does it, around here? <laughs> anyway, guys, um, that's it. That's my first look at the Moza Racing H pattern shifter. Yeah, definitely good quality, but Moza makes good quality stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get this on the, to the sim very shortly. Do some testing for the review, so uh, stay tuned for that. 
But for now, guys, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, happy swimming, and bye-bye.